come let me teach you how to save eleven thousand dollars yes that's the price of this valentino off the shoulder dress it's a basic generic design really simple to make here's how i did so i'll be using a vintage bonina sewing machine the 707 minimatic model made in 1971. you would need the following measurements the shoulder circumference this is taken firmly around the shoulder from front to back of the body the dress length taken from the off shoulder neckline level down to the foot the sleeve length taken from the off shoulder neckline level down to the wrist the design is really simple all you need is four rectangles of fabric multiply shoulder circumference by four divide that number into three give one third to the front fabric width one third to the back fabric width divide the remaining third equally between the left and right sleeve fabric width add an extra seven inches to the left and right sleeve fabric width for extra volume at the top corners of each of the four rectangles mark a point 6.5 inches down and 3.5 inches across connect both points with a curve and cut these are the armholes Sew the four pieces together and fold the top neckline edge down and sew, creating a casing and insert elastic tape. Do the same for the sleeve hem. I used the silky crepe fabric in medium weight, which did not need lining. Cut out the dress front fabric with the following dimension. Multiply shoulder circumference by four and give one third of that number to the front fabric. This is the fabric width. For the fabric length, add 6 inches to the dress length. 6 inches will be used for hemming allowances at the top and at the bottom. Then cut the dress back fabric with the exact dimension as the front. Cut out the sleeve fabric pieces with the following dimensions. Multiply shoulder circumference by 4, divide the answer into 3 and divide the next answer into 2. One for the left sleeve and one for the right sleeve. Add 7 inches to each piece for extra sleeve fullness. This is the fabric width. Add 3 inches of hemming allowance to the sleeve length to get the fabric length. Cut another piece with the exact dimensions for the right sleeve fabric. Next, cut the armholes. Layer the dress front and back pieces together and fold in half. The armhole will be cut by the corner of the loose edge. Layer the left and right sleeve pieces together and fold in half. The armhole will be cut by the corner of the loose edge. Place the folded sleeve pieces on the folded dress pieces. Align both precisely along the top and the side. At the corner, mark a point 3.5 inches across and another point 6.5 inches down. Draw 1 inch guidelines at both points. Connect both points with a curve. And cut. Here's the armhole curve. Prepare the sleeve fabric for sewing. Fold each one halfway and sew along the loose edge with a half inch seam allowance. Prepare the dress pieces for sewing. Keep both pieces layered and sew them together along the left and right edges with a half inch seam allowance. Sew each sleeve separately. Sew the dress pieces together. When I was done sewing, I searched all the loose edges. And after sewing and serging, turn each sleeve with the right sides outwards. And here's a demo illustrating how to join sleeve and dress pieces together. After sewing and serging, place the dress piece with the wrong side still facing outwards and then insert each sleeve into the armhole, the left and the right armhole, ensuring that their armhole curves are aligned perfectly. You'll be joining both along the armhole curve. Pin both pieces together and ensure that the underarm seams perfectly align. The stitching will be done along the armhole curve. Insert the second sleeve into the other armhole on the dress. The stitching will be done along the armhole curve. Case 
casing will be sewn at the top edge which will hold the elastic tape and here's a demo illustrating how to prepare the top edge for sewing. So here's the view from the right side after attaching the sleeves to the dress. I searched the top edge all around. And after searching, I folded downwards by 1.5 inches because I'll be using a 1 inch elastic. And then I pressed down the folded edge with an iron. I prefer invisible finishes when sewing and so I chose to use the blind hem stitches. This way there won't be visible stitches on the outside, which is super neat. The elastic tape holds up the dress to the body around the shoulder. I used a 1 inch wide elastic tape and the length was cut to shoulder circumference minus 2 inches. I left the gap unstitched and inserted the elastic tape through the gap. I used a safety pin to push the elastic tape through. But most importantly, secure the other end of the elastic tape so that it doesn't disappear. Push the elastic tape gently all through the tunnel and then when the other end emerges, sew both of them together by overlapping. And finally, stitch up the gap. Also create a casing at the sleeve hem and insert elastic tape through. Push the elastic tape slowly all through the tunnel. And here's the final look. I love my new dress. It's an elegant look. It looks opulent and it was so easy to make. And the best bit is I saved a lot of money. So because I use blind hem stitches, there are no visible stitches on the outside of the casing, which gives a very clean finish. I finished the bottom edge with a deep hem, 4.5 inches. This depth allowed the dress to drip beautifully at the bottom. I do hope you try this out. Thank you for watching.